What's happened to the Hollywood superheroes? The town that brought us Superman, Spider-Man and spoke out against a president unworthy of the title now suddenly seems to have lost its male voice of indignation and a caped crusader to the rescue when the alleged villain is one of their own. The men of Hollywood have been surprisingly silent in commenting about the current sexual assault allegations against one of the industry's leading moguls, Harvey Weinstein. Maybe Theresa May needs to pass on her strepsils to the men of Hollywood to help clear the frogs from their throat. Unfortunately, even in 2017, we know that powerful men get to push their luck with women, where a less affluent man might have felt a fast slap or the long arm of the law. All men, even those in Hollywood, are either sons, fathers and brothers to a woman somewhere, and that should be enough reason to make them call out any sort of predatory behaviour. When a misogynist lives in the White House and represents America, then those who speak for America and the rest of the world through the medium of film need to hold their own to a higher standard. It's time for the real men, the real life men in the industry to live up to the superheroes they portray on our screens. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree with you on this. You know, it's, <laughs> you know, they, they stood on stages at award ceremonies and they stood at podiums and they denounced Trump as a misogynist, as an abuser. And yet the biggest, most vile abuser is living in their midst and they have stayed silent. And you, you mentioned just men finding their voice and you're probably, this is probably where you know, we will disagree. But I think there are lots of women in Hollywood who are very powerful now, who, who now say, who say they were abused by him. People like uh, Gwyneth Paltrow and Angelina Jolie, lots of the other ones. They have been very big name, very big powerful figures for the past 20 years. They could have at any time spoken out about what was happening because if they had spoken out earlier, they would have been able to protect the, the, the actresses who weren't quite so powerful. But the hypocrisy of them all is, is, is towering. I, I just, I find it incredible. You know, the, this story was blown, we think, it was in the papers today, that we think by Weinstein's brother, Bob. And um, they think he leaked it to, to the paper. So again, oh. it was the press that were left to leak this story. It was a paper in New York, and it was mm. the New Yorker magazine. And they found and Ronan th Farrow, Mia yeah, and they found thirteen son. not so famous actresses who were willing to talk. But the big actresses in Hollywood, the ones who had felt this and who had experienced it, should have had the courage at this point and to pretend that they didn't know what was going on. And you know what really sickened me? That all the pictures, the, all the pictures of Weinstein with all these girls, all these girls who 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 claim they've been abused by him. They're cuddling him, they're draped over him, they're whispering in his ear. Why are they doing that? Mm. They don't have to do for, that. For me, Carol, I think they're two slightly separate issues in that there are the women who claim to have been abused. For me, that's one camp, as it were. I'm talking about the women who've come out to denounce him, like Meryl Streep, like Dame Julie late, Dent. But, but the fact so, that they have, it's only the only men think, who've done think, that um, are George Clooney and Mark it's, it's Ruffalo. It's important at this stage, I think, just important legally to say he has denied all these yes. allegations. Yeah, yeah. So he's denied the rape allegations yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, and he has accepted that, he's, that he needs counselling, mm. but he's denied the serious criminal allegations mm. against him. Having said that, uh, there is a moral question here beyond the legal question, and that is that you're right. Um, Donald Trump, Trump Jr. has called out this hypocrisy. What I find sickening is that uh, a bit, touching a bit on the racism debate as well, is when social justice causes are used as a political football between the left and the right uh, respectively, whenever they want to point score. So whether it's racism, homophobia, misogyny, anti-Semitism, it exists on both sides of the political but spectrum. But he was only allowed yet, to continue doing this wait, the because the nobody spoke. Yes, he could have that, been stopped years ago. Rachel, yeah. years ago. I have a different read of this. I think that the reason we have a misogynist in, a white ha in the White House and that this was an open secret in Hollywood for many years. I mean, I had heard a story about Gwyneth Paltrow and Harvey Weinstein myself several years ago. It's because how normal it is. Yes. It's like, we just accept that men are going to use that their power worse, over women. Well, so I'm don't afraid be of course, great don't point. be outraged about no. it now if it's normal and they're, no. they're okay no. with it. The fact that know? everybody knew it, but nobody called it out, shows it was normal in Hollywood. You know, the, the, the single most thanked person from is the Oscar Harvey stage Weinstein. is Weinstein. Yes. So not only did they not yes. call it out, they this indulged it. This is all it. about they power. And it. then they go to his can, parties and they're drinking can champagne. I just, look, it's all about power, not mm. even about yes. sex. It's a way the male sex doesn't call out. Yeah. 
Harvey Weinstein because, in a sense, they're reinforcing male supremacy over women. And, you know, the, especially in Hollywood, especially where the, Hollywood. the rule is, you know, the Jewy young starlet like Marilyn Monroe, let's see, have a picture, who s admits that she slept with producers to get mm. to make her way onto the tinsel top screen or whatever. That is how it works, and it still works in 2017. And maybe the fact that Harvey Weinstein's cover has now been blown, blown. by women, by the New York Times, by the New Yorker, means that actually we're going to see uh, the beginning yeah. of an end to I this. Think, I think that's the important part. Yeah. Not, it's, as you say, it's, mm. been, it's been known forever, the yeah. casting couch in yeah. Hollywood, the, the, the senior you know, moguls had young women, had all the rest What's interesting is the speed at which I think Weinstein has been destroyed. Mm. I mean, it's within mm. seven days. Yeah. Mm. He's absolutely destroyed. Yeah. And that will send a signal to an awful lot of other men in, in, who, 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 who aim to be in that position. Because yeah. they'll see how fast now you can, can be, be brought destroyed. down. And it, let's not kid ourselves, he was an incredibly I know, was, person. is the important thing. The reason this has come out now is Harvey's star is on the wane. He hasn't got the power to make or break all these people's careers. Therefore, it is safer to but, come but out. Can because I, because we, that's we, why we, these Carol, women that you saw draped all over him didn't, because he was in charge but of But Carol, can I just add the point? For me, it's not just about people like Harvey Weinstein abusing their positions of power. It's also about the sexist nature of, hen of Hollywood in general. But I think to some extent we're all culpable because this story was broken in the New Yorker by none yes. other than Ronan Farrow. Who yes. is he? Who is he? Mia he Farrow's is son. Mia Farrow's son, who is the Woody son Allen's of Woody son. Allen's son. Woody <laughs> Allen. And, and Ronan Farrow has said on the record, my father married my sister. So Ronan has an axe to grind naturally. Mm -hmm. I think I would too if I was in that position. And he's sought justice through this article. But it tells us something because how long are we tolerated but can somebody I just like Woody say, Allen. We watched his films. Maggie, just to interrupt, Ronan Farrell had started that story on NBC yeah. and it was quashed and that's why he then took yeah. it to the New York. No, good on him. Yeah. I back but him. also the Hollywood that? again was looking but, after but, but you're talking about the guys in Hollywood that were... Uh, uh, we have a clip um, of Louisa, um, Lu Lucette Geis, who was one of his accusers. Let's have a look. We went to his office and we had a great conversation about his current film and the film that I was pitching. He seemed genuinely interested and I was excited. After about 30 minutes, he asked to excuse himself and go to the bathroom. He returned in nothing but a robe with the front open and he was buck naked. I do not think that Harvey Weinstein understands or comprehends how much pain and suffering this brings to me and scores of other women. The window to end this soul-crushing behavior of sexually harassing women is only now just recently opened. Wow. Wow. Mm. That's an interesting question. It's only just recently opened. Mm. I mean, that's interesting. Why, does it, why is it open now? Yeah. Well, I, mean, I think it's not, but I think it's not as powerful as but it was. But also, more and more women are standing up for themselves now yeah, but that's, in that's, the yeah. way that they well, were the in the women past. Said, it made me cross as well. They said they didn't have a choice. Yes, they did have a choice. They absolutely had a Mira Sorvino was, had a choice. He locked them in. No, he didn't. Well, I, well, let me talk about Mira Sorvino and, and Rosanna Arquette. Both of them said to him in a room, they were in the same situation with, with the dressing gown and whatever, and, 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 and Arquette said, I am not that girl. I will not do that. And she walked away. Now, well, this uh, woman walked away. Well, but a lot of people didn't walk away. You read about the girl who was supposedly raped by him, and I say that because he's denied it. Um, she, she I actually, don't want to defend his She no. started to go out with him I'm not after blaming he raped I can't. I'm not leaving so you've them lost responsible us there. for the legacy yeah. of what he well, did. Carol, you can be responsible for no, not Carol, walking away. Very, you have, of course you can. not make them accountable for what he did. You, you, you have responsibility for your...